What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I am going to be reviewing a gameplay trailer for Diablo 4 with the Rogue class. Um, I haven't watched anything other than the Diablo 2 reveal from BlizzCon. Um, I've heard a little bit about, you know, the Rogue stuff, but I really, I really know nothing. So this is all new to me as somebody that I've played Diablo 3, played Diablo 2 so many times as a teenager, and I'm so excited about the, you know, resurrected version, um, but I'm also excited to see what they do with Diablo 4. I hope it's a little bit more like 2, or some things like about 3 that they could, you know, instill, but, I, you know, make it its own game, build on what worked, what people liked the most, um, and, uh, you know, my favorite characters um, have back in 2, I loved the assassin, um, I love the necromancer, so I, I don't know, I'm, I don't know that I played a rogue too much, so let's see what it's all about. Okay, so one thing I want to point out is I really like the look of Diablo 4 so far in this gameplay. Um, it's really dark and dreary and it reminds me a lot more of Diablo 2. Um, yeah, I really like that so far. That old reign of vengeance kind of thing. Striking, maybe? So that's similar to instead of having the um, bows that you conjure and that stand, it just says three right off the bat. So that's interesting. <laughs> or more, actually. <laughs> We created Dungeon Alchemist, an AI-powered map-making application an ad. Gotta get an ad. that allows you to make awesome-looking maps with just a few clicks.
time elements of classes. Interesting. That. That's a little bit of a different look. Playing with some geysers and stuff. Question is, all the characters gonna be able to do that? You can say about it, it's gonna be good, right? Interesting combination of skills that they're using for her. Alright, today's burgers are I mean, from Hello. Really Those are dudes on our side.
mercenary and having to find a bridge and shit. Presenting Home Chef Oven... Oh my god. I picked one with ads. My fault. My fault. Okay. Can't believe... Anyway. Um. So. Rogue class very very interesting um i like how it seems to combine elements of different character classes um i tend to play um stuff that can be distance played usually um except for i mean i played the assassin a lot um in diablo 2 with the expansion um so seeing kind of like a mismatch of stuff for classes in that character is very interesting. I'm fairly excited about being able to jump and ride horses, though. I mean, that's something definitely different for Diablo. Um, oh, it looks, you know, like they're taking elements of skills um, that we've had in the past and changing them up a little bit. Um so i think that's a good thing maybe you know it's always good to evolve and not just do the same thing all the time so i'm really interested to see how the other characters are going to evolve um is there going to be another character that you know brings you know multiple aspects of specific classes together instead of having separate ones um which I'm fine with, you know, uh, it changes it up a little bit. It gives you more diversity in how you can build your character. Um, so you could go down one lane or the other, or you could mix both of them. I mean, yeah, so I'm intrigued. I am intrigued with Diablo 4 so far. That's really the, besides the, <laughs> besides the, um, original cinematic trailer, don't know anything about it. Um, I think it looks really good, though. I liked the differences, you know, with the water and the geysers. Um, but it's still really dark and dreary, and it has that Diablo feel. There's not so much color popping, um, which is one of the things that kind of annoyed me with Diablo 3 with, you know, some of the features of it. It was just too bright. It's like, Diablo is supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be dark and dirty and nasty and just, you know, ugh. It's supposed to be gross. Give me some nasty shit on the walls. Let me be traipsing through some blood and some guts and some innards. Um, you know, give me some gross stuff. We don't have as much of that, but it's got a, it's got the dark and dreary. You know, what you really expect with a Diablo game. Um, like I said, the rogue looks, the rogue looks good so far. I would definitely be interested in playing that character. I'm, I want to see. What else that they, you know, put out um, as as it goes. I haven't, um, there's some druid gameplay, which I haven't, I haven't looked at. Let's look at that real quick. Not a lot of it, but just, you know. Can change his beard. Ooh. Ooh. Fair. That must be it. 
bear and a werewolf. You will not take it from me. Just flip flopping. Honestly, don't think I've ever played it. Either. Kinda had my favorite stuff. Here. I have the lantern, but your family crypts have collapsed. Damn the crypts. All I care about is my son. Aaron described that lantern in perfect landing. I see now. It's basically between a bear and a werewolf, it looks like. Wonder if those are gonna be the only two things that you can change it to. Okay, so all the players can climb. Completely flooded. Okay. I've seen it now. Druid looks interesting. Um I like, like I kept saying, I love the weather-related <laughs> aspects of the character skills. That's pretty awesome. Um, I hope they can change something inside the barrier and a werewolf, but it seems you can kind of flip-flop between them, which is great. I mean, I'm sure they each have their own. One's breathe strength and one's more violent and maybe quicker. Um, I'm sure they have their purposes for being one being big and burly and one being more smooth going um of course being able to have your companions is great 
always love hanging out a pet companion and wolves a dog lover like it so so far seeing the druid gameplay and the rogue gameplay i'm very interested in diablo 4 um that was you know the kind of atmosphere that i'm looking for in diablo 4 um and i th you know of course it looks like from the screen of the druid they're gonna have you know a magical person again like a wizard which um i play usually so i don't know if there's anything that's come out about that character yet imagine not i imagine they're just doing it slowly one by one but the druid and the rogue look interesting not sure i mean i may play dru the druid a little bit but that's not typically the kind of character that i roll with but i mean i would definitely be willing to try it out um if anything, to use the neat skills that I saw. Just because, <laughs> again, weather nerd. It'd be kind of cool to use tornadoes and lightning to fuck some people up. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, guys, that is all for now. Um, I'll be doing more reviews in the future. You can catch me on Twitch at Solitary Spark. I upload my VODs to the YouTube channel. So if you miss me or I don't stream at your time, I stream usually from 10 to 11 um starting from 10 to 11 eastern um five to seven days a week it just depends um so you can catch me there you can catch my vods, vods on the youtube channel be looking for more reviews catch me on twitter at solitary spark until next time have a good one bye